Confirmation of acceptance for studies. It is also known as CAS. Different university has different methods to request for CAS. It may be by using CAS Shield application or by university application portal or by sending the related document through email to the university. Hello everyone, my name is Shah Manavat and I welcome all of you to this video. In this video, I am going to discuss about how to request for CAS through CAS Shield application. Once you accept the unconditional offer letter, the university is going to send you the, a link through which you can activate your Cast Shield application. Remember, you have to have an unconditional offer letter from the university. You cannot request for Cast by using conditional offer letter. So make sure you fulfill all the required condition of the conditional offer letter, gain the unconditional offer letter and start your procedure for Cast. So let's understand step by step how to request for CAS through CAS Shield application portal. So here you can see uh, one of my student has received uh, a CAS Shield request um, from the university. Now here you can see there is a link to request a CAS now. Once you click on this link, then it will take you to a page where you can, you, you now you are jumped to the CAS Shield application portal. This is through University of Greenwich. If you have applied to another, some other university, then you will find your university name over here. You need to create a pass, password over here. Well, uh, for my student, I have already uh, created the pass, password. And uh, once you log in through that password, you will find these all options. Okay, you need to complete the CAS, CAS checklist. What is what all information you required under the CAS checklist? You can see it's very basic information. Name, you need to confirm. Here you can see there is a green button to confirm that this is the given name and this is a family name. Make sure that this name, the given name and family name is matching with your passport. It's very important. It has to match with the passport. And if you have been known by some other name previously, if yes, then mark yes and uh, mention that. And if no, then please uh, mark no and save and continue. Some other basic information, gender, date of birth, country of birth, nationality. And once you enter the required information, please don't forget to tick mark over here. If you don't tick mark over here, then you this save and continue button will not get activated. Enter your uh, phone number, applicant's phone number. If you are the applicant, put your phone number here. You also have to mention the country code. This information will automatically come with the car shield itself uh, this is the address where you live at present if this is not matching with uh, your present or communication address then you have a button to edit here fill the information and save and continue any criminal conviction i'm marking no here student number again this this page this information uh, page on this information student number uh, course name start date uh, total fees if there is any work placement, this all information will be uh, will be pre-filled. You will receive all this information pre-filled. If it is correct, click on this green buttons and save and continue. For English test, if you have uh, appear for any English test like IELTS, TOEFL or PTE uh, in order to gain the offer letter, please uh, mark yes and mention that uh, exam which you have answered. Save and continue. Now you will see you have a passport here you need to see if you, do you have current passport obviously without having passport how will you apply for the university and then you need to enter your passport number this also you will find pre-filled so you need to see if it is matching with your passport information passport expiry date enter the passport expiry date here save and continue well you have completed first section so congratulate yourself and let's move to the next your last uh, degree which you have completed in case of my student, he has completed bachelor's degree in year 2019. Uh, have you traveled uh, outside of your home country? If you have traveled for a tourism purpose or any any for any cause, maybe say study purpose, uh, tourism purpose, travel and tourism, then you should mention uh, yes over here because it says, have you ever traveled outside of your home country in last 10 years? All right, so they are not mentioning only about studies. It may also be uh, because of your uh, leisure trip. Okay, so you can mark the correct information which is there according to you in in case in this case uh, it's no so i'm marking no here here um, have you been granted any other visa for uk so it's simple yes and no simple questions i hope this this will be clear to you i don't find any uh, complicated question as such to describe 
Yeah, you can see simple question. Have you received a, a visa refusal from any other country, non-UK also in last 10 years? You, can, you have to mark yes. If it is yes, no if it is no. Please be truthful. Please be honest. Okay, if you have received a visa refusal, mark yes and mention the name of the country. See, if you mark yes, then you will, you will find this uh, additional requirement to be fulfilled. Okay, in this case, it is no. So I'm marking no and continuing here. Do you have uh, anyone coming? And this is also another important set of questions. Uh, anyone coming with you to UK? So uh, if, if you are married and if you are taking your family along with you, then you have to fill this information accordingly. Okay, uh, do you have partner uh, that either applying for UK visa or has UK visa mentioned here? Uh, if you have children and if uh, the children is also uh, coming to, with you to UK, going with you to UK, then you have to mark accordingly. And that's where you complete the second section. And now you are on section number three. So the information which you're providing here, so they are saying that uh, you can read this, uh, pause the screen and you can read the information which is mentioned over here. And you need to agree with this term that you are providing all this information correctly. And then you are giving concern to the team that uh, they can connect behalf of you to uh, UK VI. UK VI is UK Visa and Immig Immigration Authority. Okay, that's how you completed the first three section. You are on section number four. And here you will talk about the financial plan. How are you going to fund your education? You can see various options here. So let me explain all these options one by one. Company or government sponsorship. So in case if you have, uh, suppose, uh, say if you're working somewhere or if your parents are working somewhere and that particular company is sponsoring your studies, then you need to mark here. Or uh, if you are applying through any government grant, uh, government scholarship, then you have to choose this option. Second option is university scholarship or discount. If you have received any university scholarship or discount, then you should mark here. Education loan, uh, if you have taken any education loan, to uh, pay your tuition fee and living expenses then you should mark in mark this option and next option is myself or my family so if you're providing or if you're showing the funds through your parents account or your own account then you should mark this option in, in case of my student he is uh, going to study through his parents savings so I'm marking this option here the course name uh, again you should cross check it, it should match with your offer letter tuition fee should match with your offer letter outside of London. Now, uh, this university is outside the London area. So now this is again pre-filled. We have not entered any information here. So this is the uh, fee. Total fund to be shown is 29,182 pounds. Now, this information here, I have filled it. So let me uh, click on edit and show you what did I do. So here they're asking the funds, the saving which you have, having which type, uh, which type of account. So which type of account is that? So standard bank account or term deposit. Term deposit means fixed deposit. Um, saving bank account, investment account, pension account. I strongly recommend to go through either fixed deposit or saving account. Your uh, process become less complicated. In this case, uh, we are showing, the student is showing a saving account. So I'm marking saving account here. Now, the best describe the account. Is this your own account means they're asking, is it student's own account? or someone else's account. So I'm marking someone else's account because it is the student's father's account. Then uh, here, relation. So I marked father here. Father's name mentioned here, family name. Now again, this should match with your passport, okay? It should match with your passport as well as the birth certificate. Now here, uh, country of bank. So once you enter country of bank, you can see when you enter, it will come like a drop down option and then name of bank. So name of bank, this will also show like a drop down menu and you need to select so you cannot uh, randomly enter the name of bank it, you, it has to be one of the listed bank okay the total amount how much money being allocated so here you need to mention the total amount and out of that how much money uh, is uh, allowed to use for tuition fee as well as living expenses now here you, you will find it little uh, this little funny that uh, if I mention the total amount to be 40,000 pounds, let's say, and here also if I type 40,000, then it shows an error that you cannot mention the amount more than 150% of the required, required funds. Okay, so no problem. We will mention an amount which is uh, approximately 120 or 130% of the amount required to show the funds. Is the fund accessible immediately? Yes. It is saving account, so you have to mark yes. This is very important clause. The money needs 
to be in the account for 28 consecutive days that means you should not uh, have this money in your account recently it has to, to cross almost approximately a month time okay in coming part of this video i will show you the sample format how your uh, documents the financial documents should look like to make your process easier and faster so we save and continue okay that's how we completed all the four section basic uh, checklist of cars now once you complete this checklist of cars you will find this three uh, three new tabs will open up until unless you complete the cars checklist these three options will not open up so once you complete only then you will see these options so what are the what are these three options so second option is the second section well not second section but second tab is here you need to upload your current passport upload the transcript now they will ask all the required documents uh, which you also have sent to the university in order to gain the un unconditional offer letter so this section is almost same uh, requirement having almost same requirement as the application requirement so you can see the passport you need to upload your passport here you need to mention your uh, travel document number so passport number issuing authority so here it will be government of india and uh, date of issue so passport issuing date passport expiry date so you have to mention this here in uploading the certificate and transcript here in the first option you can either upload the transcript from the university if you have or the semester mark sheets in the next option academic certificate here you have to upload your uh, convocation certificate if you have or passing certificate from the university here you need to upload the english test that means ilts as we have mentioned ilts you remember in the checklist we have mentioned that uh, student the student has answered ilts uh, to gain the offer letter from the university so upload ielts document here tb test so you re you need to have your tb test report now tb test report you cannot go to any random clinic and uh, get the uh, tb test done there is a list of designated tb test center in india you have to take an appointment there go with your passport your offer letter uh, to that uh, uh, designated uh, test center and then uh, you have to fill a small form you will be they will do the tb test and give you the report okay make sure that you mention to them that you are you want this report to apply for uk visa all right i will show you a sample of tb test report too custom requested document now this custom requested document is on the university so different university ask different uh, types of documents here in case of greenwich university they are asking to upload the statement of purpose that was the document which you have given to university to gain the offer letter admission offer letter right so i hope this section is clear to you general document upload next is uh, financial document now financial document you need to upload the deposit uh, receipt so you need to upload the de deposit receipt here uh, now suppose if you have uh, if you have transferred the money through uh, direct bank transfer then you will find a tt receipt the telegraphic transfer receipt if you have done uh, this uh, deposit payment through flywire or uh, a global pay or maybe say western union then they have they will give you the acknowledgement uh, of their own system and that proof you need to upload here now next is uh, about the family so birth certificate now first thing is birth certificate now make sure that birth certificate is in english language okay uh, sometime you get uh, birth certificate in dual language so make sure that uh, you have one of the language as english okay upload you need to have the documents to upload here so mark yes if it is ready uh, scan copy of the original and your name and uh, parent name should be mentioned over here now you can you should read this statement very carefully very important does the document include your name and the name of parent or guardian providing funds are you clear with this part of the sentence so birth certificate should have the name of parent matching with the financial document and your passport okay so three things name of your parent should in the birth certificate and your passport and the financial document which you are providing for caste request in all these three document parent should parent name should match okay if it is not matching then make sure that you have uh, uh, an affidavit of uh, confirmation of name okay for example it, it is quite uh, possible in in india it is very uh, common that uh, the parent spelling sometimes spelling uh, might be 
change or sometime bank people they are they do, they forget to mention the mid, uh, middle name of parent in that case you have to get an affidavit done okay uh, if you need the uh, format of the affidavit then you can contact us on the whatsapp number which is given over here okay now after confirmation of all these then it will ask you to upload the document all right then letter from your father now why is it showing father here because if you remember in the general checklist we have mentioned that the fund is uh, shown by uh, shown from the uh, father of the applicant okay from the father's account all right so letter from father so you need a concern letter from your father so see they are so nice that they have meant they have given a sample concern letter uh, format so you should use this format and uh, fill the required information like your name uh, name of your parent student full name parent so you can see there this is a statement which says that uh, um, the parent is giving consent to student to use the money from that particular uh, bank account or saving account or fixed deposit this is very important you need to have concern from your parent that uh, you are allowed to use this fund for your studies next is uh, banks banks uh, statement scan so here you need to upload the bank statement and a balance certificate from bank so i will again i will show you different options uh, we have seen different options right so in this video itself i will show you the sample uh, uh, financial documents i hope this is fine with you and then here you have uh, another section where you need to uh, complete this credibility questions there will be basic uh, credibility questions where, uh, and mostly it will be related to university okay so let me show you what are the uh, questions here why did you choose uh, to study in uk okay you can mention your reason the reason for you to choose uk for studies this particular course again uh, you have to find the best possible answer for you so when i do career counseling i make sure that student is going for a, a course which is aligned to his or her career goal so my student has uh, chosen this particular course for this reason so i am marking these options why do you choose this university this university is your reason to choose this university okay then uh, in your own words you need to type the reasons to choose this university so only marking these options are not enough you need to type out also and please do not type the same uh, options like don't don't copy from here and paste it here you need to be little descriptive uh, so here uh, little descriptive means don't write entire essay also you can see here you will find that maximum two sentences per reason so you have to mention only two sentences in per box okay now once you uh, type the reason in those uh, three uh, text box then you have next section where you have to mention about the pre cast question so here you have which campus are you uh, studying at so here you need to check in your offer letter the name of campus refer to the offer letter you have these uh, hints also showing up here and list other two universities which you have applied how did you uh, research th these universities the university the other two university give accurate reason and then did you consider any other course you have to mark yes no now in the next section uh, they are asking about the plan of work are you going to work while studying please mention no i strongly recommend to mention no here and country in which you are going to study uh, in which you are going to work after completion of study so i suggest to mention your home country here next question is once you graduate how much do you expect to earn per year in your home country so approximate amount which you feel that after completion of the master degree uh, you can uh, get in your home country so that you should mention in pounds do you plan to continue on further studies in uk after completion of this course i i completely leave this question on you if you feel that you want to go for further studies like uh, phd or so you can mark yes here in this case my student is going for uh, tot program and uh, his um, uh, next step is to go for job so i'm marking no in this case save and continue and here you will reach to the last section of this part where you plan to live while studying so you need to mention uh, on campus or private accommodation if you have not booked the accommodation no problem that does not uh, relate with this cash shield application as of now uh, i am marking the private accommodation per week approximately greenwich as per uh, best of my knowledge 
uh, it should be this amount approximate next question how will you travel between the accommodation and university campus you have to choose the best option available i am marking uh, public transport you don't have option to mark two options otherwise i would have marked walking or uh, public transport now the next question is about how much are you going to spend per week this is uh, apart from your living expenses accommodation expenses so i'm writing 100 pounds approximately next is international student can be interviewed by ukvi prior to receiving visa are you aware of this yeah you should be aware of this all right so make sure that you are prepared for your visa interview too okay so congratulations you have completed this part also now let's see the sample format of the uh, financial documents now if if you are showing the funds through a saving account then you need to have at least say two months of uh, bank statement the normal bank statement it has to be uh, stamped by bank stamped and signed by bank apart from that you need to have the bank balance certificate so this is a format of the bank balance certificate you can pause the video and you can see what is required uh, one of the important point uh, you should see here is uh, this sentence has been held in the bank for more than 28 days because as per the ukvi norm your fund has to be uh, there in your uh, bank account for more than 28 days so bank should state this in the balance certificate and then you should have it now this is the format of fixed deposit so if you are showing fixed deposit then you need to have the fixed deposit receipt along with that you should show uh, this uh, deposit balance certificate also so request your bank show this format to bank and then uh, ask them to get you the bank uh, fixed deposit balance certificate in this format um fixed deposit number name of the uh, fixed deposit uh, folder issuing amount issuing date that means what was the principal and when have you booked this ft and rest is here you can see it's almost same this this paragraph is very important you can read this we would like to further confirm that the fixed deposit write the amount here held with us write the date here which is more than 28 days old and funds are clearly un and unconditionally available for immediate withdrawals at any given point of time that means bank should clearly state that even before the majority of the fixed deposit you can withdraw the money and fd is not locked under any circumstances that means sometime you know there are uh, kind of fds which are uh, uh, say tax saving fds which are locked so this fd this particular fd the fund which you are showing should not be of such type okay if you have taken bank loan then bank gives their own uh, format of uh, sanction letter apart from that you should uh, request bank to give this format also of sanction letter if you need this format then you can connect with us on whatsapp number and if you are already my student then we are we have given all the sample documents in your dropbox you can find in the uh, financial document section please read this uh, all conditions all the uh, points which should be very clear in front of ukvi if you have taken the bank loan now suppose to pay the deposit if you have withdrawn some amount or to pay for accommodation if you have withdrawn some amount from the loan if you are going through loan then if you have withdrawn that amount some amount from uh, loan amount then you should have a, a sanction or, or sanction and disbursement of fresh education loan so here you need to provide a disbursement letter from the bank that uh, stating that uh, this was the loan amount has been sanctioned to you date of sanction uh, mention the amount which you have taken withdrawn from the loan account to pay deposit or pay for accommodation and the balance fund available so this is disbursement letter which is required from the bank well this is it if you like my work then please hit on the like button on this video and uh, click on the subscribe if you have got any question then do not hesitate to put it on the comment section and best way to connect with me is uh, connect through whatsapp on the given number here Thank you so much. Stay healthy, stay happy. I'll see you in the next video.